Hey kids, this is Clear. Let's play Charles Barkley's Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. Golden Sun Edition. Yeah, I don't even know. Shiba, do Cyclone. Alright, now light shines through there. Yeah, have some light, you serpent. Something can be placed here. Alright, place something there, Shiba. That statue over there moves, and light shines through. Two hit combo! The other two light spots will not be able to be affected right now. We'll have to find a way to shine light through from other angles. But that shouldn't be too tough. I bet there's some stairs upwards or something over here. Also some woodwalkers, because you know, I don't think we've had enough of those guys. Flash Edge! Okie dokie. Take these stairs, which I told you would be there because I know layouts like that. Don't think anything here. Oh wait, I think there's a mad plant here, so I'm going to avoid that. There might actually be a mint, but you know, I don't really care, so... Dude, guys, go away. Yes, we're back to avoid spam. We'll need to put the dancing doll on that altar. Now, I don't remember, but we're going to hit faces on this wall somewhere. Like right there. Oh man, it fell right on that rock. That looks like it might have hurt. Okay, so maybe we go this way? Yes. And which one of these? I think it's this one. Nope. Oh, well, whatever. As long as we're by this door. This Governor General door. Ah, I, I don't really like that game. I guess I like it in a Plan 9 from Outer Space sense, but... Well, and the gameplay is good, but... Tales of Symphonia just does not have a good story at all. It doesn't have very good characters either. I mean, the best character in that game was Sheena. Sheena, however you pronounce her name. I screwed it up, but you know, what do I care? And, you know, the problem with that is, it's a game about swords and sorcery, and race conflicts and whatever, and she's the busty ninja, and she's the best character in the game. Something went wrong here. Meanwhile, yeah, only one orb left to light. And Piers heals everyone, because he's, you know, charitable like that. Fortunately, those statue faces stay revealed after you've crossed over a first time, which is good, because I don't want to have to, you know, blindly stumble my way through multiple times. Anyway, up here, across there, down there. Okay, I'm pretty sure we take the bottom path. Pretty sure. Yeah. And then, do we go up here? Yes! Heroism! Heroin. No. Do not do drugs, kids. That is a bad lifestyle. Alright. Swing on over like a heroism. Okay. No, I flee from you. Now the hint here is that all the areas around it are littered with bushes which you can use Cyclone on. Turns out that actually affects the spider web too. See? I guess those bushes were used to anchor the web or something. Wham! Whatever, point being we can do this now. Yes! And now we get to go back to the entrance and fall through the ceiling again? Whatever, this game has a couple of glitches to it, but nothing really super game-breaking. 
My first copy of the game, admittedly, did get damaged to the point where it was completely unplayable. That might have been more because I stored it in my pockets when traveling than anything. Don't store your games in your pockets, alright? Store them in, like, I don't know, I store them in my backpack sleeve because I carry my backpack to a lot of places because it also holds my laptop. Anyway, we've shown the light through the four different apertures. Aperture science. And now we get to go into the actual boss room, which means going straight from the entrance. Yeah, let's just overkill you. I am a tactician! I don't actually know if I'll have enough time for the boss fight here. Because the video is like halfway over. Fortunately, that is not my choice to make at the moment. Hang on. Now, let's see. If I recall this right, I need to push that up there. Shift it to the side. This is actually a pretty devious move puzzle. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but... Get closer, Felix. Alright, and that's how you solve it. It's not very challenging, but I like it all the same. Alright, do we have anyone that knows growth? Yeah, Shiva. We're gonna need that for the next part. You remember all those parts in games that you don't like because they're just navigating a whole bunch of identical corridors with only some vague clue? This is the stupid version of that. For stupid people. Because here's how you find out the way to go. Yeah, just have Shiba or whoever has growth on your team cast it on the plant and it'll tell you the way to go. Go any other way and you go back to the start. Or maybe a backtrack one space, I don't know. Is this a door? Nope. There's also some variations in the areas, and mimics. So you know you're going the right way because you're fighting mimics. That drain Sheba's synergy, which she could otherwise be using to, you know, be helpful and tell us which way to go. Doo 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 doo. Level up, and a game ticket, and tell us the way to go, northwise, eastwise, thatwise. There's no genius hidden in this area, but you do use the dancing idol to get one in another area of the game. No, there is no escape. Okay, that does it. You have angered the god Macleb of blood and chaos. Blood and souls for Macleb. Alright. Fears, heal us. Good dog. Alright, we head down now. A rusty mace. Now that could be interesting. Here's hoping it's something Shiva would actually use. Alright, I think this is the last one. It's nearing the end anyway. Oh, come on. You're just making this whole thing embarrassing for both of us now. Lash Edge! Now that's not embarrassing, that's awesome. Alright, let's get out of here. Blip, blip, blip. Oh man, there's Susa. 
Go, Susa, go! It's invincible. And it shoots fire. I'm Kalia, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Can we save Susa and defeat the serpent?